Hi everyone, welcome back to Tiggy Pocket. I'm so glad that we're about to reach that 100 subscriber mark. I'm very thankful to the Unflushable channel for giving me a shout out on his channel. I'm very happy that I was even featured on his number one list, which is very good. And thanks to everyone who moved, who copied them there. Uh, I don't know how to say it, but thanks to everyone who went from his channel to my channel and gave me a subscription. Thank you all for subscribing. You guys are making me reach 100 subscribers pretty fast. Thanks once again. But let's get back to the subject of this video. In today's video, we're going to be seeing how to clean out a scissor switch mechanical keyboard because a lot of you guys have laptops and you need to know how to clean that. So let's jump right in. So to demonstrate this scissor switch cleaning, I'm just going to use this Gateway NE56, I believe it's an R12U. So let's go ahead and remove the keyboard. Well, first of all, you can see this thing is totally covered in dust, even though it's being used almost every day. So let's uh, just just clean that up first. I mean, that, that's probably the best thing to do. So I'm just going to use this duster and go ahead and dust it all off. Now, before you do anything with the keyboard, it's always best to take the battery out so that the computer won't accidentally turn on. Now here, depending on how your laptop is, or if you're using a netbook, you may or may not have to remove the back panel. If you're on a netbook, most likely you're going to have to remove and disassemble the entire computer, but in my case, I only had to remove those, well, stupid clips that uh, Gateway puts on their laptops. Fortunately, Gateway doesn't exist anymore because, uh, well, I mean, Acer bought them out and that's probably a good thing. Oh, and by the way, while we're at it, when was the last time you seen a blue RAM stick? I wish they made these some more, but uh, it's kind of kind of hard to find them in a desktop pl platform. Anyways. Okay, so if you're on a normal laptop, then you may or may not have to uh, remove the backplate. It really depends on what your laptop is. In my case, these were the things that I had to pry off. The clips that are holding in the keyboard. And there you go, the keyboard has come off now. Before you remove it though, you have to uh, unplug this ribbon cable. All you gotta do to unplug that is lift up these two tabs here. And slide the cable right out. Okay, there we go. Now we got the keyboard out and on the desk. To remove one, uh, to remove all the keys actually, before you do that, you should take a picture of your keyboard, so you can refer to that to put them back together. Now, on to removing the keys. To remove a key, simply pull it off, just like a mechanical keyboard, except you have to be a little bit more careful not to accidentally mess up the scissor switches. Of course, if you do mess them up, it's pretty simple to put them back together. Just snap both those things together and snap that back in place. But otherwise, just be gentle and try to avoid messing with the scissor switches. They're kind of hard to work with. But uh, yeah, go ahead and take all those keys off. And then we can just dust right under this part. You can either wash this and let it dry for the next day, or you can just go ahead and dust it all out. To put your keycaps back on, just push them on to the scissor switch just like a mechanical keyboard, except a little bit more forceful. And there you go, you should now have a clean keyboard. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. If it was, you know how to do that. But if it wasn't, you also know how to do that. I'm pretty sure if you're watching this, you're most likely subscribed. But if you aren't, go ahead and do that right now. And comment down below your suggestions, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.